And now after uh, this demo of uh, CV 2017 199, I'm going to show you how to create uh, such a file with Metasploit. And now just for the fun of it, I'm going to use uh, Metasploit uh, on Windows, not uh, on Linux or kernel Linux, but uh, on Windows. So here in the Metasploit folder, I launch the console, which will take some time. Okay, so now the console is started. And I'm going to use uh, this uh, exploit module for CV 2017 199 made uh, by Nix So use exploit windows file format office word hta. Now if you don't have that uh, on Metasploit that's uh, because when I'm using it here, it was not yet merged into Metasploit, so I had to install it, and I'm showing that later. So, but that's the exploit. These are the options, a file name and a target URI. So the file name, I'm choosing test RTF and the target URI is on my site dot com test dot hta like this and then I just run and now the file has been created here so I can go here into uh, the command prompt and have a look at the file so it's an rtf file you can here see object object art link and also the object update important and here object data you can see actually uh, an ole file it's also a very small file this is the OLE file, and that's it. So we can analyze this uh, with my tools. RTF dump. So it's a very small file, only 14 entities. And this one here has the object data. Entity 10, so let's select this. Do a hex dump and get the information about the embedded OLE file. And you can see here this Metasploit exploit also uses the OLE2 link identifier and it's a doc file. So I can extract this dump it and then pipe it in OLE dump like this I have three streams three small streams so select one and here you can see the target URI in uh, Unicode HTTP DDSTevens.com test HDA and here, this part here, that is the uh, URL moniker, moniker grid. So that is the file. Now, this uh, Metasploit exploit, I got it here um, from the GitHub from Nix Aug, who merged it, uh, who made a pull request for the Metasploit, but uh, it has not yet been merged. So I took the two files here, CVE 2017 199 RTF in data exploits, and then the Ruby program itself in modules exploit windows file format office word HTA, the Ruby file. So I took, I downloaded those two files 
and then I put them here in the Metasploit folder in apps pro vendors vendor here bundle ruby 230 gems and then the Metasploit framework gem here and so the RTF file I put that in data exploits here you have the RTF file and the module itself the Ruby program in modules exploits windows file format and so here office word hda dot rb where you have to put it